say, what's that? Can you say, in high school, sir? <laughs> so during. Can you, the laptop, <laughs> no one right now, yeah, you can't see. There she is. Uh, Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a white baby. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. <laughs> We're doing a producer's producer audit session, and a yeah. host audit yeah. in a way, but it's very low key. You know, it's. Uh, what was that? Somebody was leaving or coming. Oh yeah, we should also say <laughs> people are doing constructions work on happening as we speak, <laughs> specifically on this room, the studio's is, outer walls. There will be a hole being made in this wall. Are you kidding me? At some point, right a some drill point. should be coming through the wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right near somewhere near you. <laughs> <laughs> it's in me. <laughs> yeah, um, we're just gonna have to put the wire through your heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we gotta get it in here somehow. That was, Hey, Marika, I'm on a beach. How's it going? That's really fun. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to conference you in with Marty. Jeff, you play Marty. Okay. Here's Marty. Guys, you have no idea. <laughs> 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 Let me... <laughs> the call dropped. Call dropped with Marty. Sorry, Marie. Anyway, uh, but that's never happened, right? You think that's ever happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was the biggest burp. It that came from smells deep. awful. Ooh. What did you eat for breakfast? It was deep. Fish and a diet coke. I think I'm going to be sick. Did you know that was coming? That was awful. <laughs> Don't be mad at him. You're you looking at him suck. with an angry grin. That wasn't even carbonated. That's cold brew. I think you just got to say excuse me and move on. Yeah. Excuse me. Don't be dismissive. Okay, I have I have or Pyle's address. It's 124 Eden Knoll, Rhinebeck, New York, 12572. It's not even it. You're right. That's Steen Valetti. <laughs> <laughs> you just doxed a random person. Billionaire, yeah. In I don't think it's oh, That's good. That's good. Steen Valetti was a Rockefeller built estate that's now owned by some tech billionaire. It's like so fucking vast. And then we don't say, do there, this. We there has say, been a. Can you imagine if you did this? And that's like, it seems really small, but it's a huge it's difference. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. It's an invitation. Or we say like they're demand. doing this. So they aren't actually in order. Like they're doing that. Now. Oh my gosh. Look at them doing this. Yes. Yeah. That's what we do. So to y'all, this feels like you're being met with a wall. No. Not even that. I don't <laughs> understand. We have to move on. Here's something that is not going to feel any better for you guys to stomach. Let's find out. <laughs> Alamo Draft House for the AMC downtown. Of can't hear you, Jeff. Yeah. Also, I don't feel comfortable Jeff podcasting on his stomach right now. Yeah, because you know wild. he's sort of grinding. <laughs> you just, you know, <laughs> he's subconsciously <laughs> like he's a six-year-old that doesn't quite know what up. it means yet. Yeah, his ankles is <laughs> over his shoulder <laughs> every chuckle. This, this was his ass picture, but kind of clothed. <laughs> Split yeah, your legs but, so we can see your little feet. To the left. Yeah, that's just really weird. <laughs> that's that's so bony. This bony ass ankles. Oh Have my you heard from Bony recently? I haven't actually. Let me see those okay. feet again just one Shout more time. Yeah, all right, I got it. Got him. <laughs> what were you doing before this? I feel like it was some wild shit happening because the vibe is just different. <laughs> you have a very interesting <laughs> vibe right now. The vibe is simply... <laughs> Different. Jeffrey's kind of him right now. <laughs> right, yeah, he might. <laughs> now that I think about it, the vote is in. <laughs> the vibe um, is him. Pierce Brosnan, have we thought about him? He already did it, yeah. He yeah. seems like he's got it. He could come back. He had it. He has it. He can come hat, back. He that could be cool. Down. People are doing like he's the throwback thing. Yeah, maybe. You don't have to be upset, that upset. No, it's, yeah. Because mm. like any little thing can throw me off this entire hour. <laughs> You know that about And this me. is it. Why does it bother you so much, the idea of Pierce Brosnan? Well, because I sort of have like this like agenda almost of like how I want the show to go, right? And then like <laughs> And that, that just sort of that was a hard left turn for you. <laughs> that was <laughs> almost the opposite. I, th I thought you were gonna say Wanda Sykes, which I was then That's... gonna performatively get mad at you for because I chose it. 
But you instead, thought she was going to say it, but you said it first. That was your first it. one. He thought I was going to make like a joke and, and say his idea, and then say Grace cut it. No, I thought there'd be like parallel thinking, and then I would like playfully be like, "Oh, I'm pissed," but like it's fun. <laughs> now I'm actually mad. <laughs> <laughs> The energy in this room has changed. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's usually entirely this. Yeah, <laughs> this is the whole thing. Yeah, the first eight minutes so were nice like light. Yeah. Yeah. I, think my, I think my mustache is having sort of like a leveling effect on him because we have like we both have mustaches. Yeah, right? oh, it's just sort yeah. of like a we feel safe and supported. <laughs> brothers, yeah, yeah my, brothers, I, yeah. mustache brothers. I don't know how to intro this. Riley and I were doing this bit all last Thursday and Friday, um, mostly Thursday, I guess, where it's sort of like a trailer. It's like a movie trailer. Um, <laughs> but for basically Santa self-completing, does that make sense? Oh, I no, like that. But there's no euphemism. It's just yeah, like, not- it's Christmas, Santa comes hard. Oh, <laughs> so that's, that's the fucking, uh, from format. the people who brought you the Easter bunny comes this Christmas, Santa comes in his hand. <laughs> It's like you're not getting us at the end there. You already it said is, something is. really crass. Santa jerks off his cock. <laughs> exactly right. Miles, That's why don't right. you hit us with one? Get ready because December's Eve, Santa's going to blast off his orgasm. A lot. With his cock. <laughs> exactly right. This Santa's going to spooge from his penis. <laughs> This, this Christmas, Christmas Santa's, Santa's gonna spreading wide to get pegged. <laughs> Santa's going to jerk off in the shower. This Christmas, <laughs> Santa's breaking his chastity vow to finish. <laughs> you think Santa has a chastity vow to, to get Claus? shit done? <laughs> He's done no nut this millennium. No nut no millennium? Nut millennium. Yes. No way. That's NNM. crazy. When, you, when Santa comes after that, yeah. it's going to be huge. This Christmas, Santa nuts in a sock. Oh, man. The idea of Santa nutting. In a nutting stocking. It, in a stocking. That's <laughs> what I was going to say. I saw mommy nutting Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, I saw mommy on. milking Santa Claus. Come on. <laughs> come on. There's blue humor, and then there's this crassness that I won't stand for. Let's oh, get a reset it, because of the music. Oh, oh it's no, it's, it's because old. you said oh, milking. It's old. Old. We're getting... Can I say one thing about ants? Detect- <laughs> <laughs> I know you said we're not going to get a better joke. Guy, and this isn't a joke. It just sort of feels relevant. My uh, my cousins who are in England, uh, who I mentioned already, uh, I have an aunt. They, the aunt lives there also. She has breast cancer. So does that make sense? This girl is on fire. <laughs> I pressed the button before you said it. I saw that. <laughs> what that was. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. could give you guys like an itinerary going into it. Yeah. It's just part of it. Yeah. Sorry, not yeah. Just let me finish. Um, part of it is like the element of surprise. Yeah. Part of it is like you guys not knowing what's going to happen. At I all misspoke earlier and everyone laughed at me. And then you said something <laughs> stupid. And you said, can you not pick apart everything I say? <laughs> so which one is it? Do we laugh at people that make mistakes or do we not pick apart whatever they say? Or is it more of a double standard? I think there's like a perfect middle ground where we're like letting shit happen as it's supposed to organically. And we're also like comedically for comic effect being like, oh shit, Will said something crazy. You know what I mean? But there's a difference between that and like tearing someone apart, like lighting them ablaze at the stake. Yeah, you also made fun of my house. It makes just fun that of my if you're not going to do the value add. The no, Brad's house is good, but yours is a rental, Brad. No, I own that house. We might I'm have to start talking bitch. about that. We might have to start <laughs> talking about how, like, because you didn't move in and do a lot of renovations, huh? I actually <laughs> did. Obsessed with the renovations. <laughs> no, because I'm trying to figure out value add, right? So, like, you know, Why? the number one yeah. to figure out how to build some personal finances for y'all. Uh, we already talked. To, well, we, we talked about the WA, WGA strike. All we got projecting to next week is that Allie thinks that people are going to be sign repeaters, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. A great prediction, Erica. What do you got? Honestly, I. I have no idea about the whole thing. Like, I know about it, but, yeah. like, I couldn't give you much to talk about with right. it. And would you say that the question I just asked was good for content? Or sure. Really? You think it was? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, about it. I don't know. I don't He's fucking shocked. care. What's that? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Been to yeah. Scotland. I didn't even hear about Cullen Skink. I feel nauseous every time you describe what it is. <laughs> I don't want... What? Cullen Skink? And- 
Yeah, it's like clams and cream. It sounds it, awful. It, no, it's a cream That's base. Yeah, clam hot, chowder. Hot, with hot milk fish. and shellfish. <laughs> and ultimately cold potatoes. Literal clam chowder. Yeah. So hot, hot cream, cold potato, mm-hmm. hot and fish. A, and a fucking yes. shell. The potatoes are cooked fish. in the cream oh, over stop time. Stop it. Stop okay. it. It's skink. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> Talk about other shit. Feel sick wow. to my stomach. Amir went off on Italians. Now he's taking it to the Scottish. <gasps> I don't. None get, like, of my none of my ancestors on. are safe. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which doesn't G-E-O-M-I-C. sound totally related to your name. M I C. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Geo McCon. <She> heard. Um, <laughs> Multiple stages with different shows happening at any given time. (laughs) We're going to have the hits. We're going to have Zach Dunn as a guest. We're going to have Miles Bonsignore. She's pretty famous and cool, actually. Yeah, Yeah. I'm embarrassed that I yelled at her. She's like invited to (laughs) Comic-Con. Soundproof glass, they told me. Um, So I just want to announce that to hold myself and the team accountable. uh, That that's the new goal for the show. What's that? Who's going to Jamacon? No, I'm saying the goal is to get a real Comic-Con. Okay. If that doesn't happen, whether by neglect on y'all's parts, this is on y'all, or the committee at Comic-Con, we're going to throw our own Comic-Con. It's going to be ten times about Jamacon. To be a guest. I said Zach Dunn. I said Miles Bonsignore. I said the team at HeadGum. This lineup is great. We're going to have Jake back from Paternity leave. We're going to have Ferris Manchi on the boards talking about getting, I'm sorry, but pegged. We're going to be <laughs> April and Ferris. You guys don't remember that? I, I do. I don't know what you're April talking about. April and Ferris. You're inside Ferris. Yeah. 2028 is going to be your year. <laughs> That's it. That's I, a good one. Emery Gillon. We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so trying. Casey's the staring at me like yet. this. I'm the like, like I'm even here. They won't fucking do their plugs. <laughs> you can see the Doughboys. Oh, Katie's no. pissed too. Oh, no, Katie's okay. So none of this yeah. specific to camera style. We might go specific to camera for in terms of punching up jokes. Yeah. Because well, don't just say yeah. Like the act of listening sometimes puts me off because <sighs> I feel like you're not actually listening. You're just waiting for your <laughs> next turn to speak. Does that make sense? Mm-mm. So Marty's only on the G wagon for what two months, and it's already in the shop. Courtesy vehicle. I walk into the studio. I look up, and he's wearing this. Wearing the gumball hat. The gu- it's don't you, well for the audio listeners. It's like a. F- it's a big hat. It's like a twenty and five eighths hat. It's like a big the hat, hat makes it look like Jeff is one and a half feet tall. Exactly. They gave me the benefit of the doubt that mm-hmm. the episode might be actually fun to do. You yeah. guys are coming in expecting. I think Marika is the only one open to it being better. Uh, and so I'm. <laughs> That's that's a pretty big projection on me, and I don't think that's fair. This is, I, and this is a pretty big projection on me, and it's just like a projected <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> There's no way you could have known. <laughs> Let me see that rock, girl. It's just the engagement ring. It's, been, <laughs> it's just the engagement ring? That's the most important ring. <laughs> it's, it's been there for months and months. It's I didn't like notice. It's not an exciting new when thing. Did you, well, let's fucking, Casey. Yeah. You okay? Mm-hmm. You're smiling in a way that I've never seen you smile before. I just love love. <laughs> um, Casey's crying. <laughs> like this whole this whole trial is a nothing burger, basically. Did you say podcast? No, because that's actually the word of the day. I didn't say it. <laughs> what is this show about? Thank God. <laughs> this is <bad. laughs> <laughs> what exactly? Is this? You're getting it. A musical called Lissa Strata Jones, uh, which isn't. I don't it's, know. It. Yeah, it's Jeff does. Yeah, Jeff was in it. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you play again? Jeff, sing one of the songs. It's like Lissa Strata Jones in in this Greco house. Positano pants made of linen now. <laughs> it's like this like sort of coastal Italy thing. <laughs> made of he linen said now. Greco. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, yeah. I think that was moving. Yeah, it made was of moving. Linen now. <laughs> <laughs> With a ton of pants. <laughs> Before Ozempic was what it was today, I found out about this recently. <laughs> they had to like advertise the shit, right? 
now everybody and their mother wants the fucking pill, right? This fucking jab it's not stick. A pill, it's a it's a shot. Marika! <laughs> <laughs> it's been four years. I'm sorry. I really am. That was too much. I just. I have an agenda when I come into these things, and I nearly need to fuck it. I feel this need to push through. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie Brasco is kind of a Donnie Brzasco. It's a disaster. Have you guys seen? Disaster and a fiasco. Have you guys seen the episode of uh, the Chris Gethard show? We can let Sage go, but I. I was all. You can finish, asking. Marika. Thank yeah, you so is, much. That's going to end up being strike two in terms of Marika stepping on Sage's time. I didn't do anything wrong. You I didn't arguably mean to. interrupted me. I interrupted you for sure, but that's part of the course. Yeah, part of course. Of the, show. Um, the episode day. of the Chris Gethard show where so Paul Giamatti is in Sage, a dumpster. to speak as soon as I say the word Sage. And so anybody who continues speaking after I say <laughs> Sage is You're speaking. stepping on Sage. No, 100%. <laughs> But that wasn't me. That was just me using it as an example. Right. So, like, okay. if I was like, Sage? Okay. My bond of the week is Walton Goggins. Yes. I got this thing for $40 at a flea market. That's at a bowl. too much. That's way really? too much. Yeah. Because some of these, I thought some of these go for like $100. Good ones do. But this one is not stained with cum. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Uh, it's what a hat. You, what would you even call that hat? What do you even ha- It's a Pharrell hat, is what I've been calling it. But like, but like, <laughs> it looks broken. Like it looks broken in. <laughs> it looks broken in because it's vintage. So I don't even have to like make sure that the bend is just so. There's a little dent in it. How there's a little dent in it. I wear a stain on it. Yes, that's fine. It's character building. You didn't like wash it. At least like spot clean it when you bought it. How the fuck it am like I supposed new... to wash it, Brad? It's I felt. said spot clean. <laughs> God damn it. Eating eating a piece of honeydew often feels like I'm eating a piece of rind. Yeah. Yeah. That's that sounds delightful. <laughs> Housing rind. It's fine. You know what? This is good. Next time I'm with either of you, you can have my honeydew and I won't care. Exactly right. <laughs> when we did fair. the I mean, shows at Gramercy on your birthday, uh, I did bring you those cookies like we talked about the other week, and you were mm-hmm. pissed that it wasn't rind. Sure. <laughs> It was the rhythm of the rind. <laughs> the rind. Oh, do. I had a bowl of rind. <laughs> I'm housing honeydew. I recently found out, or learned, I should say, how fucked up foie gras is. Foie gras? Yeah, like what is it? They force, like take a pig and they spank duck. it over their knee? No, and it's the, unrelated to that. I thought it was like a tender thing. It's like a you force You basically take the tenderloin and then you spank it over your own explodes. tenderloin. Yeah, yeah, they basically have to torture a bird for That's you to true. eat their liver. Yeah, but it's how cod, I thought. Is it be? not? No, you're just guessing wrong and not listening to anything I'm saying. Because when you go to a restaurant... And you order yeah, the foie you're gras. yelling at the chef. You're sort of being nasty. Not yelling the at the chef. Yelling at the wait staff and the maitre d. Right, because they're my liaise on to or the chef. Otherwise, we're hosting a party, so who knows what could happen? Who's we? Your roommates? Yes. Oh yeah, you have a going away party. I did hear that, and I was like, how how long? Is he going to be gone for? Because I was like, if you're gone for like 10 days or less, like you're an asshole for doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's a weekend. It's a weekend trip. You asshole. <laughs> no, it's for a month, right? It's for a month. But then also it's my roommate's birthday. And then also our Even debatable. more of an asshole to encroach on their <laughs> <Yeah>. birthday. <laughs> it's their it's birthday and now birthday suddenly party. Joel's going away, John? I mean, to be, yeah, to be clear, it's Joel's going away, John, and also Simone's birthday that weekend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. And then our debatable third roommate, meaning the person who's subletting my room, uh, or debatable fourth roommate, my friend Anisha, who's subletting our room, is dropping a new song tomorrow, too. So, release party, perhaps? You gotta have whiter friends. Let's figure out what the point of it is. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. I've never seen Jeff real in Paris. <laughs> Okay, wait. I did an interview genuine, with my mean, sister's magazine. But you made that genuinely? Kind yeah, of, because it was a really earnest, it's an earnest publication, so I gave oh earnest answers. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't say what the question was. It wasn't unprompted. <laughs> I think of my co 
comedy like a cello. I, uh, I'm writing. This is so much worse because of what's going to happen after this, <laughs> during the show. Just to start, it was like, uh, I guess I'm Jeffrey James. I live in Los Angeles. And I guess I think of my comedy like a multifaceted <laughs> like entity. A tuba. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're kind of like in an orchestra at the moment. And you, know? I, you can be conductor and first chair violin at the mm-hmm. same time. That's right. first Did you ever play any instruments, Not Chief? Yet. Are you, a, are you a musician of sorts? I played the clarinet because I was forced to do it in school. Oh, so you played did the I. Guitar? I, played, I played clarinet as well. And then I would forget to eat breakfast and um, so faint. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> why, why are you forgetting to eat breakfast? <laughs> that seems unrelated because you you're be. blowing so much air out. That's too much air, by the way, to play the clarinet. <laughs> I played clarinet and I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> I had music for breakfast. No, my clarinet teacher like sent me to the school counselor because I kept fainting at clarinet practice and because I, I wasn't eating enough food. And just oh, no. blowing a lot of air. Yeah, I think I was sta- I just You have to stand and blow for so long. It's crazy. You're with, you, Jeff. You're with me? No. Did we I all guess do that? I had breakfast. <laughs> it was fine. I was bad at the clarinet. I, I've oh. got ADHD. I, and I did play it because of Squidward. Did you well. played Squidward because you liked the Squidward. I played, played a woodwind because of Squidward. Well, it's interesting you bring don't up music because it sounds like assonance at all. Make, no, no, I'm that not agreeing with you. Don't look at me no, like that. Yeah, it exactly didn't right. even have no. the same vowel sound. It's I interesting that Jeff's talking about music Squidward. though because he says I take oh. a lot of inspiration from music. When I write, I usually hop back and forth between my laptop and my guitar. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm to, really to, to whom it may concern an email. Oh wait, I'm gonna do a sick call. Just give me a minute. I'm blushing. I don't think I I've ever it. seen him blush. It's so funny because yeah. I did so little prep for this, yeah. and it's like cutting so deep. Anyway, he is wonderful. I can tell you a very hot person, but I can also say I'd I'd fuck Guy Fieri. Because I know that he has realistic rich. celebrity yes. crushes. Those that's the it's more not interesting realistic. Thing. It's like I know that if we're at a bar, Guy Fieri's putting it down. Yeah. yeah. Guy Fieri's 100%. Guy Fieri's charming me. Mm-hmm. He's, he's asking you questions about yourself. He's, he's making eye questions. contact. He's asking you follow up questions mm-hmm. based on the thing that you said earlier <laughs> yeah. to show that he's listening. Actually, he's ordering for the table. He's yeah. ordering for the table. He's getting yeah. everyone's thing. That's charisma. That's yeah. Riz. You'll like you'll move to a different topic and then he'll bring it up and be like, That's like what you said earlier, Millie. Oh and you'll be God. like <laughs> Then you'll be like, Yo, Take me home. Take me home, you know? <laughs> you get a Charles Melton. I'm. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't smash. I'm just saying he's got to prove himself he, in that other area. Yeah. yeah. He, he, I mean, yeah. Where where Guy Fieri's bringing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if Charles Melton has to ask other people questions. No, he themselves. doesn't. I got paid handsomely. I got a raise. Uh, you got a massage. That part was weird and feels illegal because it wasn't. <laughs> I, you guys said it was gonna be a gift we, card. Casey reached out. Apparently, it's just gonna be by his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Would Casey get he, <laughs> No. But can you imagine? A lot of things are of God. Yeah, so to me. Let's go three things that you think are of God. Three, two, one, go. Printers. Got it. Wait, sorry. Let's, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> <laughs> I said say three things that are of God. Your first two are printers and friendship. Yeah. Let's friendship, round it out. Kind of friendship is I, friendship equally. is godly. That second though, this is a ranking, and the first have, one's printers. Have you had a printer work? <laughs> Actually, recently, it's, no. It's a religious experience. When, when it, it hits, it hits. Mm. When it hits, it hits. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting on stage. Um, How close were you to a private part? Pretty, pretty close. Wow. Yeah. Uh, were God you allowed you, on God stage? You didn't have to use your phone. Was I allowed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marika streaked. <laughs> 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 uh, sorry, everybody. I'm so inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to be nude on stage. She did it for my mom. She said, This one's for Elena. Ran across the stage. <laughs> uh, Tackled instantly. Oh my God. <laughs> naked, which is crazy. <laughs> Tased yeah. forever. The cops are also naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a dream you had. <laughs> Marika's been in New York.
Actually, I didn't leave that. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't leave. This um, would be my, some like this. Like, yeah, this is it's it. All your things lined up. I feel like it can't be real. Yeah, my face is red, so I am gonna cut to break. <laughs> <laughs> is a two hundred fifty year old bar and restaurant with a storied past. I mean, wh- how often do you get to be in a room that's been there for I don't know two hundred fifty years? Not often. And so how did you feel when you were there? I sat outside. (laughs) 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 But I did go to the bathroom. Moving on. (laughs) It would yeah, it would be the first it would be the 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 conic Sinatra joint for sure. Yeah, but Johnny B. Good. (laughs) Oh my god. What fell there? This entire coffee. Oh my god, (laughs) so much of it. That was a pint. (laughs) It was absolutely a pint. Yes. I I was gonna comment on how it was a pint glass of it. I said he took a huge swig. A pint glass of cold brew. Oh my god. Knocked over. Yeah. Which is a lot in a glass, but when it spills, it feels like a lot. And it's actually devastating to lose that much coffee because you he needed that. I don't know what time it is in L. I guess it's I mean it's noon in LA. He shouldn't need it. But he planned to be sipping that throughout the whole podcast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And remember when you spilled that like 16 ounce Coke on Ben's rug and it just felt like a lot? (laughs) Because like yeah. liquid, when it spills out, <laughs> it just, it just went everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, I tried and, for and that hours was probably to, that much to clean that up, and that's probably that much, right? Yeah, I mean, and it's a all glass. directly onto the wires, cables, and the chair. And that the is carpet. a that's a knot of wires, right? That's the nexus of the microphone. Impossible that run to clean wires from there under the carpet to. Like, the, how do you even begin? What did you even begin? It's it starts with a lot yeah. of paper towels. Maybe I mean, even the a room is so the room oh, is so small. He came back with nothing to clean that. He came back with nothing. <laughs> that is insane. There's no way <laughs> he came back with a new coffee. <laughs> <laughs> there, he thinks he's just, there aren't paper towels in the office. So that's it. We give up. That, that just needs to be soaked up by a towel. That would that's uh, a full. That's going to be towel. soaked up by the rug. The thing is about this room is also so small. To, so to get back there. You basically need to take the chairs and couch. It's out. forever changed. They, we There's have no to, way you could do a deep clean right now. Essentially, to clean this studio, we have to move. Yes. Yeah. We could, there's no way we could move all the furniture and then begin to clean the, the things. It mm-hmm. would take as long as the podcast would. <laughs> Let's see what he's come back with. What is that? Just napkins. It, it Hard was, napkins with a design the, on it. It, this whole thing kicked off with him singing a song. <laughs> it's hard to be me <laughs> spilling. Those are the least absorbent. That's basically printer paper. We don't it's, have na- paper towels. Cocktail at the party napkins. <laughs> My experience in the last minute and a half was me like scrambling and like swinging open cabinets in the kitchen, being like, "There has to be. There has, there has to, to be, be towels." Me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. J- <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> what um, are you saying? There's no way. Sorry, that really threw me. Um, what? As <laughs> if you don't fart all day during this show. I don't. Really? <laughs> I don't want to start this whole thing with the energy of me being like, headgum. I might take this show to Earwolf. You think? Wow, the, the headgum, headgum podcast, podcast to Earwolf? <laughs> Wouldn't that be the funniest thing to do on this show, though? If yeah, I took this to, I? like, I don't know, Spotify, I think it might be big enough. <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Spotify you can. Original. You don't There's, think so? No. no. They're shedding shows. Why would they add you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't know that. I might take it to iHeart, and I do iHeart, iHeart, iHeart. I don't think you have it to take it. Really? <laughs> yeah, nor do they want to have it. I don't own the rights, but where did you earn the rights? We have like a host virus relationship where we <laughs> sort of both need each other, but you're killing us softly. <laughs> killing me softly. It's time for a James Almond. Almond is not capitalized at Mond all. Almond was capitalized. Nothing Look, is capitalized. Yeah, this is crazy. There's no way. <laughs> So the formatting changed. 
right? It was that I typed it out just yeah. so, and then, yeah. Yeah. So you didn't, uh-huh. didn't really proofread or edit, yeah. did you? That's fucking Grace's job, editing. Not your documents. I, all right. What is this cross examination? <laughs> I'm getting the fucking third degree. You were you were giving me the third degree, so I turned it around on you. Pyle, how long did it take you to get your masters? I don't have a masters. Then why did we get him on the show? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't know. We haven't had him on for a long time. People are requesting him. I I don't know. He's sort of my foil. You're requesting me. Well, nobody really, but people were making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, we said something on the last week's episode. We mentioned you, and then somebody commented, Andrew Pyle. So I was like, oh, we should get Pyle back on the show, right? Last week's episode? Friday! We scheduled this before that went live. What is this show? <laughs> Just, this is not, this is this person. Yeah. Right. You got this from CBSnews.com. CBS <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! What is this? <laughs> what did they say, what? Jeff? Just tell us. What did Emerald say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't think this is funny, it's, this is this sucks. This <laughs> 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 is so horrible. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, don't worry about it. It's not like something you wrote or or anything. This is a quote 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 from one of these. What does the kink puck say? (laughs) Just tell us. When a woman's health is most at risk, that's when abortion should be the most illegal. Because let's face it, that's got to be one hell of a kid in there. Bam. Oprah. <laughs> I think it's Francis. Is it wrong? Okay, so you want a man? Or you could degree. be like, right? I mean, for sure. But you could also be like the guy that uh, built a house on top of a um, a skip. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are they called? Like a garbage bin Marika, in England? What are you saying? <laughs> There's a guy living out of a garbage can in England. It's a really nice <laughs> this is, is Marika talking to a policeman. <laughs> Quick! There's a man. He's what? living out of a garbage can in England. It's a, literally a, it's a limerick, Marika Hearn. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, I think is what they would say. That's fine. There once was a man from Berkshire. <laughs> who lived uh, you, you in a garbage can, can, for sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry at Amir's vows. I what? did. I had, all, I had already cried, cried too I much. cried at Amir's yeah. vows because I cried it's Amir's like when you have someone who doesn't emote, right? Yeah. yeah. When they do. Yeah. That's like yeah. you know, when you like started crying. That's yeah, when I, was, I like fully yeah. lost it. I wasn't. I didn't. <laughs> cut that. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was. I was sitting next to Rose McIver, who lived with Amir and I, and like we always would talk about how much of an unemotive robot mm-hmm. he was. Yeah, but if you're ever gonna get emotional, yeah. like th- I'm like hearing a beautiful speech about myself for five minutes and then I have to say a speech myself and then my entire family and friends are there. Yeah. That was the one thing that but pushed I, me over the emotional It wasn't edge. even when you got emotional. It was just like you even saying any that of the is, stuff yeah. that you said in your vows. Rose and I were just like holding each other's shoulders <laughs> being like, oh, <laughs> oh my it's God. So I, wasn't, I wasn't crying, but I was just so, su- I was yeah. like, I was su- joyfully surprised. I was like, I can't believe every it. Single He's leaving it out there. Every single person that we talked to after like Ben, Rose, e- Billy, all of them were like, we're proud of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did, he, we're we're really proud of him. Happen, yeah. It had to happen there. I but then I tried up? to memorize it, so it was what? like kind of nerves. Did you just yeah. tell Casey cheer to cheer up? up? I was looking at the monitor and he's like, <laughs> cheer up. It's kind of he's fun. Concentrating, <laughs> he's concentrating because he's trying to help you. Cheer oh, up. It's of- Have you named the guy yet? Of course. Yeah. Why is that? Of course. It happens instantly. I didn't get my name until I was nine. 
what do they call what you before that? Yeah, what do they call you? Yeah, a lot. Uh, untitled. <laughs> untitled <laughs> Jeff's mom. Project. Untitled Liz James project. <laughs> <laughs> we have named him. You ready for the name? Yep. Jeffrey Marika Amir. <laughs> Not Bonsignore. Lumen Lee. <laughs> oh my God. Lumen Lee. <laughs> you named him after an app you wanted to design. That's not a teachable moment during like the show. No, the, mo- moment. the no, moment where she moment taught him was, was a teachable, teachable moment. moment. Right. So yeah. true. Yeah. Sometimes it takes yeah. a while to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't stick. If you weren't funny, you'd be the worst person ever. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have no redeeming qualities. <laughs> He'd be a zero. That's not true. Like, when I was sick, he asked how I was feeling. That's very thoughtful. That was an automated text. <laughs> <laughs> that was scheduled months before to actually put you at ill at ease. Full I think I was expecting more out of Emma, you know, in general, like not only on the stream, but also like <laughs> going forward, hence there after. <laughs> and then it just, she's kind of let me down in that specific regard. Um, oh, yeah. Pretty consistently too. So I don't even feel bad saying that. Oh, Emma's Hi here guys, actually. sorry. Am I... <laughs> Did hey, I interrupt? Emma. Did I interrupt anything? No, no, we were uh, we were talking about baseball. No, we were we were talking about live stream, and you said that Emma let you down. <laughs> no, it was just like America's pastime, pretty much. In what way? Me, Emma letting you down. <laughs> no, I just said that because you were joining, and I wanted you to think we were talking about you. He um, has been talking about you. Jokes on you because I I didn't even hear. No one ever called it the Library Dome, and I hate that. And they I'm called it what it. real egg or whatever, just <laughs> egg. We called it the reg <laughs> egg or mansueto. It really <laughs> is reminiscent of that like mayo shit, where yeah. it's like just egg. What's the reg in yeah. reg egg? And I, uh, I this the might Reagan be the thing. Never mind. <laughs> what? Reagan I was Stein? just gonna see. Yeah, yeah. Because you have the it's, Reagan Library, and then you have the just reg library. Well, it was the Reagan Stein Library, but yeah. Okay. So that's the, who's Mansueto? Was, yeah, yeah. So this is yeah. very confusing. The <laughs> Reg Egg Library. Reg thing. stands for Regenstein because it's the Regenstein <laughs> Library, but it's also called Mansueto right, or the Library. You have to understand like, that the Reg Egg is... was an addition to the Regenstein Library, where you, you have, have to walk to down a glass hallway <laughs> and then enter this glass dome with the robot arm. So the man's and the Regenstein name... was like a. Uh, the, really, the reg like should concrete. be robot arm egg. There should also be Regenstein in addition. Before there was a re- egg, there was Regenstein, and they were like inspired by his last name. And they built it into the shape Not of Not even egg. inspired. It was something else Perspired. entirely. Yeah. <laughs> he was sweating. His and name it was, also his is name that was it looks Mansueto like an egg. Regenstein. That yeah. the library looks like an egg. I mean, don't get me started on the Reva and David Logan Center, I'll tell you what. And we won't get you started on that. <laughs> My last them. question is crass, but I have to ask. Uh, <laughs> did any, did you or anybody you know ever get dome in the library dome? Wow. Um, definitely get not dome? me. I assume somebody <laughs> did. He's being... Carried into outer space. I float away. <laughs> I'm cutting that out. That exchange wasn't funny. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> sorry. How yeah. are you? And <laughs> I'm not sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot be tonight. I cannot sleep. I cannot burn the rice. Hey. <laughs> Don't burn your rice, it's sore, and I'm <laughs> drinking hoisin inside of the jar. <laughs> Just for Poison next, a little teaser for next good. week, I guess. That was really good. Don't waste your rice on <laughs> soy. I'm charred, ready. The joy inside my jar. <laughs> I just moved too. This is my new apartment. Nice. Yeah. Is that your front door? Is that a, yeah. It's like an yeah, iron it's... door. <laughs> More like an iron giant. <laughs> 12 heavy. foot ceilings. 12 foot ceilings because I live in a loft now. Imagine That's going cool. from a canyon to a loft. Can I ever get a thought out without you saying like, oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> Those are all really <laughs> nice things to say. <laughs> Just forget it. I live in a loft, right? I yeah. mean, also, we should say that this laptop is teeterboroing on the edge of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> No, it is on a windowsill, and if I make one wrong move, it's flying out the window eight stories down. I mean, I'm honestly a huge fan of uh, using the word cunt as a curse word. I think it's really funny. 
Like calling somebody that or just yeah. saying it like when you stub your toe? Either one. Probably more the latter. Yeah, the latter is really funny. Let's see that. Amir? See what? <laughs> Amir, could you reenact that? <laughs> yeah. Me stubbing a toe and yelling cunt? Yeah. Ah, cunt. Nice. Or like cunty. But yeah. even for that situation too, that's kind of funny. Well, um, I, yeah. you know, who in the office do you guys think is like... <laughs> Never mind. I woke up in a new bugatti. So 10 a.m. 8 a.m. Wow. It's 6:30 in the goddamn morning. It's not really. Yeah, it's 10:21. Still early for the show. Usually, this is really an afternoon show. This is like yeah. 4 p.m. so that everybody can go have a drink afterwards. Am I right, Brad? Yeah, Am I right, it. Brad? <laughs> <laughs> I think every man should have like one hobby that no one else in their life understands. What would yours be? What's yours? Yeah. I think I'm still searching, but like my friend found a great one where he has like a storage unit upstate, which is also kind of where he like motorcycles. Okay, so he's a murderer. So that's cars. That's the same thing with different amounts <laughs> no, of wheels. No, because <laughs> the thing that he does is he just like, He's just like, oh, I got to like check out like some stuff at my storage unit. And you're like, what? And he's just like gone for like 36 hours from the city. Yeah, he's a drug dealer. <laughs> I was going second family. Um, yeah. I went, I went, that's where he stores his bodies. I just think it's cool that like he disappears and like no one knows what he's <laughs> doing. I think it's, we've listed is arguably yeah, a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. worse than car guy hobby ing. <laughs> You think it's cool that he disappears off the face of the earth for 36 hours? Like, that's always not a, a hobby. If, <laughs> well, I guess you could have a solitary hobby. That's like gone girling as yeah. a hobby. Yeah, I've never seen that, but that sounds like Me a good neither. hobby. <laughs> well, I didn't pay for the flights. Yeah, the truth yeah. comes out. So. And I wish we didn't have to hold your feet to the fire, because now I'm starting to question every answer you've ever given me. Ask me anything, now I'll I have be honest. To. No, you're not, because I have to follow up, and if I find the truth, then you're going to be honest. Okay, ask me the same question twice. I guarantee it'll be the same answer. How that, old were what? you when you first hugged a woman? Uh, probably like one, two. All right. Now I'm going to ask you again, and it has to be the same answer. All right. How old were you when you had your first hug? Um... I don't know, because there's a lot of things to question about that. What is a hug? What do you mean? Like me <laughs> hugging see, someone or me being coddled? You, you can't even keep a baby your story gets coddled. straight. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? It's interesting. It keeps people sort of engaged. And I feel like that's the whole point of like hosting. You got to keep the audience engaged. What's your schedule normally like? Like my work schedule? Yeah, work life basis? balance. I'm actually like, very organized. I block my time out. Well, before into, this, you were saying that you were, like, neglecting your relationship, right? You're not making enough time I, for your I did not. I did not say that at all. We okay. have a very strong relationship. We've been married for over seven years. Right. But and I, would, she... I, I... <laughs> I would kindly ask you to keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I didn't say her name. And to keep be honest, I don't think I know it. my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth. Bad time management. This pause is pregnant for no reason. That Amir, was really cool. Because he kind of looked like he froze. Not, and that's then it was cool? like a little menacing. What yeah. is this? What about at other networks? Yeah. Oh, do you freelance I for other radio networks? is 50 an hour, according to Dane. That was two years ago. So if you're looking I heart radio? <laughs> I heart when you shut the fuck up. single <laughs> beat. <laughs> <laughs> what a plan, what a plan, what a... <laughs> Are you singing that or is that part of the <laughs> soundboard? It was the thing of like, I saw your comment and I kind of read it as like an exasperated what's that where you don't say the T. So it's like, what's that? <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Chase, J.P. Morgan, or B of A? <laughs> B of A, probably, because the closest branch is <laughs> <laughs> You know, you've said that before. Do you want to give our address out? I think that would help. <laughs> we, we've done it before.
Los Angeles, California, 903. It's easy. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's a fucking squirrel. And he, and he takes these little here. nuts of I data said, hey, and hoards them for I the winter. Your, your garage unit, your <laughs> duplex unit. He said there is none. And then you memorized the address. <laughs> No, he memorized it way before. <laughs> he that. didn't even look at notes or anything. No, he, he just... has it off the top of his head. <laughs> Anytime like... someone gets hired at HeadGum, Jeff's first thing is to figure out what Where their <laughs> address is and memorize. You know Casey's address? <laughs> uh, I think it's, I don't, well, I don't know verbatim, but it's on Ingridale. Ingridale? <laughs> I know that that's close. <laughs> that's um... not a real street. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Oh my God. And you'll be in a world of pure flagellation. <laughs> Bend over and you'll feel all the physical sensations. If you want to smack someone's ass, simply grab a switch and do it. Anyone you want to flog them. <laughs> Want to slap their ass? There's nothing to it. There is no life I know. Oh my god. To compare with pure flagellation. Getting spanked, you'll be free. He's not if wearing you any truly pants. We wish to be spanked. <laughs> I have so many questions. I have so, so start. Many questions. So let's get through them. All right. Marika's druthers was a failure. Let's say, by the way, you interrupted. Yeah, it should have been this. <laughs> yes. I mean, let's just go back and forth. I guess asking questions. One, um, why did you do that? Uh, it was for an audition. That was for an audition. Yeah. For what? It's like a character thing. What character was holding the audition? I'm not allowed to say it. <laughs> That was a character? Yes, Willy Badonka. Like, the wi <laughs> That was Willy Badonka, the Willy Wonka of kink. Okay. So you did that for an audition, and you can't tell us what it was for, but you can show it to us? I didn't show it to you to reference the audition. I showed it to you because I was proud of it. How many other characters did you do? That was the only one I could figure out. You, your entire audition you was that? figure <laughs> out? You must not know about rice. You must not know about char. I can burn another rice in a minute. Matter of fact, sand will burn in an hour, baby. That's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, did he write that too? That's or? really good. <laughs> so much better than, than any song he's written so far. Sand will burn in an hour. That's right. <laughs> Delina Gomez posted a TikTok being like, uh, like, I accidentally got my eyebrows threaded, and her, they, she looked pretty good. And so then Haley Bieber and Kylie Jenner both posted, like, the next day, being like, this was an act. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you really poked yourself, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Shit. Uh, we we got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you keeping the one that you poked open? <laughs> Should we just leave Rose Pierre up on the thing? Because if I tear, take it off, it's going to turn on to the, what the frame TV always turns on to, which is uh, <laughs> Young Turks. Oh. TYT. <laughs> I think uh, leave Rose Pierre up there. I actually. want the Young Turks. <laughs> I want the Young Turks. TYT. Tri Fuck you guys, Trigo. right? Because I'm trying to put together a good show. Yeah, this is a great show. It was like I a just, PYT parody. I, I got there. Jeff, no, let's, let's be let's clear. Let's take a minute to sit in that. Marika, <laughs> when was the last time you talked to somebody outside the network who was in a position of power who could help this show about this show? Overlapping dialogue. These long pauses. Everybody gets on my case for like the long pauses, the pregnant pauses. This is you Marika. Just asked me a crazy question. Who did crazy I tell question. about what? this show? Nobody. I don't talk about it. So that's an area where you can improve. That's an area that you can improve networking. <laughs> you have to stop eating a sigh, man. It's it's fucking getting to you. You're chugging a cold brew. You're eating just thousands of calories of fruit. Look at you. You're shaking. I'm nervous, of course. You're I go cold. to I go to bars You're every nervous. weekend and I network. I mix. <laughs> and you tell people about the show that you host? I'm like, ever heard of the Hangum Podcast? No, you're not. 
Yes, I am, and I do a weird voice so they don't recognize me because, of course, they're already listening. I had plugged my Venmo on the tripod that I produced for the Try Guys, and you uh, still do that? I do, yeah. Even after the scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like you have your own engine. You have your own vehicle. I mean, this is a really good point. Coal burning. Um, but I do still produce it even after the scandal. Okay. And I did plug my Venmo on it once and I did get... Uh, 50 I, an hour? I, what's that? For producing, how much do you get? 50 an hour? You think I get paid hourly? You're salaried? Yeah. Amir. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Did you see the beginning of this fucking show? I also produced three shows there. I, yeah. You're an amateur, man. You're an amateur. You, by the way, you think he's going to give you a salary? You can even figure out the tech. <laughs> you know, you recorded in a dummy episode earlier. You're a zero. <laughs> you're less than a zero. You're lucky you're getting paid at all. <laughs> fucking doxing yeah. guests, putting out <laughs> private I? information. And, and then asking way, for a raise? Doxing the guests is as a host. Fine. <laughs> Pay me hourly as a host. But as a producer? What do you produce? <laughs> this. The first six minutes of the show was you setting up for the show. Yeah. Miles did half of it. <laughs> Honestly, we should be paying Miles. This is all very clearly a facade to everybody who... Uh, knows you, uh, you know, watches... <laughs> This podcast, you know, uh, anyone, anyone involved with the uh, consuming Jeff, uh, this is a very clear uh, cry for help, a facade. Like you, like you, you like to be so confident and like outgoing. I, if I'm not at Zebulon, people feel like they're not seen, and it's it's so clearly a scared little boy inside that is saying all of this. Mm, for sure for sure <laughs> um hanging on by a thread anybody want to take us home because i will crumble if you guys say anything further i feel like if you cut your hair you would lose all your sense of self-worth <laughs> and that actually is enough out of the three of you <laughs> fuck you guys all right are there any tie chains That's no continue Let's keep doing this rapid fire thing because I think we can all figure there it out. There should be fast casual. There should be fast tie casual Thai chains. chains. I agree. What about fast casual Thai chi? So it's like you can get in and get out through a drive through, but sort of get your peace and find your balance. I feel like that's kind name of another restaurant like against Thai cheese. Why don't we name a couple more restaurants? We'll go rapid fire and wrap this up. Themes. CPK. CPK. The theme is wood fire. They use fuck coal. You guys. No, no, fuck way. you guys. There's no fuck way they guys. have a one fire just of it. Just fuck CPK. off. Let's just continue DJs. on. Let's get one more question from Jonathan Frakes and we'll be out. Have you ever had the desire to write your initials in wet cement? <laughs> 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 what is this show? <laughs> I get Uber drivers that are like, which way do you want to go, sir? Right. Yeah. And then you wow. say just the GPS <laughs> or you're like, oh, all right, let me fucking hardwire into my ass and I'll tell you which way to go. I'm in the front seat. You're in the front. I'm pointing Holy left, shit. right, center. You're telling them to switch lanes. Too. Yeah. Like I'm telling them to the get gas the for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the hood of the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm like <laughs> gripping the like fucking thing like on Sagajulia. top that you can like put. Yeah. I had a Lord, give me the strength. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if you weren't scared of your kid being fat? <laughs> then that... I wouldn't be me. Hey. <laughs> you say, are people scared of that? <laughs> Hold on. I smell gas in my apartment. <laughs> Light a match. <laughs> Light a match. Don't, Wait, don't. I want to see something. Light a match. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see something. Her. Oh. I'm not interested, by the way, in expanding my circle beyond what I have. No. Sure. Keep your circle small. Because especially when you have... <laughs> Sorry, now I'm getting excited and angry. Like, when you are ascending to the heights that I aspire to, mm -hmm. it's going to get lonelier and lonelier mm -hmm, the longer you mm -hmm, go mm -hmm, on. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me yeah. finish. And okay. it's like, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you keep your mm -hmm, friends mm -hmm, close. Mm -hmm. And then you keep your circle small. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Mm -hmm. And so... If your friends are close, where are your enemies? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse mm -hmm. me. And it's, and it's like, it's it's who can you trust, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. who's going to mm -hmm. be there? One second. Mm -hmm. And it's who's going to be there for you. Sorry, one second. And it's like, who's 
going to be there for you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, because you wasn't with me. You she haven't said a complete sorry, sentence. <laughs> so you I'm haven't let me finish. So I me, was, actually. and then you were sort of being Just one second, actually. So basically, it's like the the higher you ascend, the, you know, you look what around. I started sorry, choking. Excuse me, just one second. Because <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. who do you trust? Because you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 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 You wasn't with me <laughs> shooting in the gym. That's a Drake lyric about how, yeah. Like his new friends, yeah. Emma? <clears throat> no, I agree with every single thing you said. I've never felt more connected to someone or something in my whole life. <laughs> Blue, <laughs> Jeffrey, you have a huge fucker. <sighs> Please welcome Amir Blumenfeld and Streeter Seidel. Right there, right? Let's talk about the outfit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, undershirt, t-shirt undershirt. Yeah. Button down Oxford tucked into selvage denim. And sure. It's sort of the same as what Streeter was wearing. This yeah, is just Streeter looks small. great. Streeter yeah. looks great. Yeah, yeah. Streeter, yeah. Streeter looks, looks awesome. great. I mean, this was 09. So yeah, it does feel. That's what I'm saying. For 09, it's like later. Streeter could wear that today and he would look good. Obviously, the materials would be slightly different. We're talking linen shirt, maybe like an, an earth tone instead of that black. But for 2009, that was great. I'm saying even for the time, you look like garbage here. Wow. Oh, um. I think, what, would you change it to V-neck? <laughs> Definitely not V-neck, sorry. I was going to just let it ride and I was going to stop you. This is a big moment. Not, but you, is Streeter about to just hug said, Danny DeVito? <laughs> I yeah, should have done V-neck. I mean, it was right. like, maybe I should have done V-neck. V-neck would have been worse. Sort of, you hammered would have been worse. <laughs> in the crew neck undershirt. <laughs> <We were. laughs> no undershirt. I'm saying no undershirt, no undersees. Here we go. I want to watch the video. Oh. oh. We both hugged a little man. Let's go. Um, he, yeah, bigger man than you, but yeah. Great. Man. This is seven minutes, so we think we're going to watch it all. What are you doing? Why did you put your arm around DeVito? Like, I feel I'm like you're not. Cat. No, you're being. <laughs> I, you you look nervous, first of all. Let's be honest about that. Uh, it was. This is a first talk show. This is like an exciting moment. I was 20. I'm not saying. I'm sa It's fine to be nervous. That's fine. I'm saying it's fine to be nervous. I'm just saying. You look really nervous. Streeter's also nervous, but he's like looking Jimmy in the eye. He's not yeah. putting his arm around an A-list. I haven't done or said anything in the clip yet. <laughs> see you guys alive. I'm glad to see you in one piece because I know that eventually this is going to get out of hand. Yeah, for those might who already. Danny, have you seen this? No, I, I want. Okay, that's why I stuck know. around for two reasons. Yes, I want to find out how. You do this. Sure. What do you do to okay. each other? And also, there's a lot of limoncello left. Yeah, we got to do, oh. do a shot. Pass that down. There you go. All right, Pass thank you down. very much. There's a little thank one you. for you. Yeah. And, and, and uh, now tell us about some of the things that you've done, and uh, we'll toast them when sure, sure. you explained yeah. it. All right? Okay, go ahead. Tell what us have you what done you do. to each other? Uh, let's see. I have left um, DeVito hanging. <laughs> yeah. You didn't cheers DeVito, but you did put your arm around him. <laughs> this looks like Jimmy Kimmel just made your kill list. No, I'm okay with that. I'm just trying to <laughs> lean in to listen. <laughs> I think you're leaning in, glaring at him. This Look is how a real, you're really looking to every single thing with a fine tooth comb. This is just item two I'm, on an IMDb. I won't be mad. I won't be mad if we spend the rest of the episode on this clip alone because I, I think this might have be. done it. Mm, I know I think you yeah. won't be. Jeopardy. <laughs> I hate this studio. <laughs> Jesus, man. Right. Why doesn't this go immediately into a Wheel of Fortune parody? <laughs> Honestly, get get over there. Come on. Good. Because uh, his fucking stomach still. That's why you can't. His diaphragm's <laughs> compressed. He can't fucking speak. <laughs> Oh, the leg. I, I never thought I would be talking to a grown ass man on his stomach for 45 minutes. This is insane. Uh, Guys, pick, pick a bond. We want to know. Really that's funny. That was such it's a It's funny because he like, is jacked, so anything he says is a little bit funnier. That's why people think Ryan Reynolds is funny. Do people is think that? Is he jacked? <laughs> Both what? questioned the two things I just said. I said people think Ryan Reynolds is funny because he's jacked, and Joel's like, "Is he funny?" And Emma's like, "Is he jacked?" I'm an unreliable narrator to them. I don't know if it's the coastal difference, the time difference, if something gets lost in translation across continent. I think nobody trusts you. Name two things you could imagine me doing. Because you've said mm. I can't be in Vegas. You've said I can't be in a movie theater enjoying right. a film. What I, are the things that you think I do enjoy? It. I could imagine you at a bowling alley alone. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. shit. 
like Highland Under Park or something yeah. less cool. Yeah, and, and you like just see him, and he has his own lane, and yeah. you're just kind of like, okay. Yeah, like yeah. Corbin Bowl and Tarzan. Like is he really Blue good or is he bad? <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's practicing. Okay, oh my so he's God. not. If really I do good. get invited he's to a he's getting bowling there. Yeah. Yeah. So he's bad, but he's like trying to learn how to do the spin. Enough. Tech. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this yeah, museum? It was in it was Hi, in Croatia. Um, I was calling to see if you guys could do a same oh, day all right. That's delivery cool. today. I know it's yeah. really cool. but I was just wondering. Um yeah, I feel oh, like great. museums like awesome. if I could like snap my fingers and be in one and experience one, great. But I wouldn't So I'm really I'm, just looking I'm just for not ever, a like, waking up, comically seeking large out a museum, going in, bouquet. paying the fee, um, wandering around, finding the exhibit. It's I for my friend's like, birthday, yeah. but I kind of want to inconvenience him with there. how large the bouquet is, if that's possible. I can't believe he's giving us uh, back Within story. reason. Like, I don't want to, like, stress you out. And I also, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, yeah. But you get it. <laughs> um, they don't get it. You get it. <laughs> You get it. I want to annoy my friend with flowers. Uh, in a you understand. Be, well, no, I'll, I'll do just hand touch. <laughs> he has vases, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't call it a vase, obviously. <laughs> Say vase. That works, yeah. Um, I, I'm a really fast museum goer. I'm like really speedy. Uh, so the, the name is Andrew and I can't. I can't. too. We should do an episode where you just make amends. <laughs> That's really funny. You know, oh wait, what's, is there like a day of atonement? Yom Kippur. Really? <laughs> yeah, it happened three weeks okay. ago. This. Wait, really? <laughs> this. Yeah, okay, so, well, we'll have to wait a whole nother year. That's a whole nother year to rack up wrongdoings. Yeah. yeah. You could do your own Yom Kippur. <laughs> Jeff, no, Jeff, Jeff Kippur. <laughs> Let's Yom do it. Jeff. <laughs> what about Yom's Dome, Dome, Dome Jeff. Kippur. Dome Jeff is my day of atonement. <laughs> Plus a tone. <laughs> a donement. <laughs> tone. <laughs> Marika? Yeah? You're shifting in your seat. It's making everyone yeah. else uncomfortable by proxy. <laughs> I mean, you have to point it out, and we probably could have gotten past it. I <laughs> just wanted to, like, yeah. I was trying to take off my shoes so I could sit cross-legged. Emma inspired me. And, and I'm worried about Joel and Emma's comfort level really with good. you not having shoes on in the fucking studio. Emma I already have shoes don't on. have shoes on in the studio. Okay. Joel? Maybe you I'm not wearing underwear. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Call me dad. Okay. You don't have to do it right now. Call me dad. Oh, Unless I'm a pickle Jax, of fart and you don't want to call me dad. Jax, what you are you what? doing? Oh. I'm going to bring in somebody else that's a fun friend of mine. And they're going to tell you exactly who they are how to, and what their whole deal is. And it's going to change the scene. Parsi. Marika, that's you. <laughs> Parsi, don't be shy. Come in here, tell us your Who's whole Parsi? deal and change the scene entirely. <laughs> See, I don't know anyone named Parsi before. Jax, this is Marika, cool. It's okay. Marika, On it's so okay. many levels, Parsi, Jax, this is so cool. This is not in the scene, Marika. It's, it's okay to join in the scene. I know what I said earlier, Parsi. but you can improvise in the scene with us. Parsi, That's a come lot here. Of pressure on Parsi. Tell us your whole deal and make it funny as shit to change this whole deal. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, I'm Parsi. Oh, who are you, Parsi? This is a really intimate meeting with my son and his new stepdad. And I wish I had some notice before you brought a friend over. How did you Jeff? get into our house? How did you get into our house? Honestly, I thought this was my house. Marika, you're blowing it. This is why I didn't want you to be in the scene. This is not part of it. Jax, now back to it. Parsi, you're an why asshole, would you think Jax. this is your house? This is so clearly my girlfriend's house. And Wife, I'm, we're, we just got married. <laughs> well, you're in you never, and by the way, you never, you never stop, stop dating, dating, dating your wife. Your wife. <laughs> Parsi, what's your entire deal? You have 15, Marika, you have 15 seconds to change the scene. <laughs> Parsi, what's your whole thing? Man. Well, <laughs> I mean, now I'm confused because I came here thinking that this was my house. It was your house. Yeah, it looks exactly <laughs> the same. Right, right, yeah, yeah. It's on the same street. Parsi, oh, true or false? From what you know about me and our relationship that you haven't really figured out what it is yet, <laughs> would you describe me as a crooked old fart? <laughs> I don't know who you are, to be honest. 
Like, I can't imagine someone listens to this episode and doesn't immediately refer you to a therapist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Me? that the results of every episode? Yes. Yes, yes of course. And, uh, honestly, a lot of the listeners themselves, a lot of the YouTube comments are like, my daily dose of poison. Can't wait to listen to this and then be upset for the rest of the day. Yeah, so, okay. I, I, I did see, I did look at the Headgum yeah. uh, podcast and saw, see a lot of the vitriolic. <laughs> is vitriolic a word? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, That's a good one. Uh, I mean, what is it about and me I'll say, that sours people? <laughs> well, you said that we should put our booty hole on Instagram yeah. main. <laughs> Well, you owe me a Rolex watch. And you also, as we Rolex established, watch. is that you're okay, promising luxury okay. goods to people and that. you're not that. delivering. I get that. Um, um, instead, you're you ordering them clams. Yeah, you sent Casino. us clams casinos. Yeah. Didn't even ask you if showed I us like... a nasty toe. Yeah, I mean, okay. just really. And this hour has been crazy. Yeah, I can't, what do you mean? We just gave you 10 reasons why people don't like you. I can work with that. I just wanted to have some ammunition. <laughs> Going into the next yeah, week's therapy okay. session. Yeah. You're not even That's... here, and you made this room stink to <laughs> high heaven. I know. <laughs> it not reeks just with the clams, some might argue. Clam funk. Not yeah. just with the clams, some might argue. <laughs> do you... Here, okay, do you guys think Tom Jones is I'm good in bed? I don't, I don't, I don't. Just fucking say it, man. <laughs> just ask the question. Like, Jeff, there's listening. this log jam of, like, fucking half-baked ideas in your head, and none of them are making it through to your mouth. Jeff, think, please don't get disheartened. Ask, I really, I want to know what think, you're talking about. Ask. This is the first thing I'm interested in. <laughs> All that Beverly Hills and Erewhon conversation. It's like, now we're talking about Tom Jones. This is the real shit. Let's go. What do you want to say? At Jeffrey James on Instagram. Oh at Jeff Boyardi on Twitter. Oh, you guys plug your mature. shit. I'm gone. I'm ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry. Unbelievable. You know, he's just doing this to make me look bad. Now I'm the asshole, right? Because I ended the show. Who is that? Charlie <laughs> Munger. <comfortable> hell. <laughs> it's like one of the richest guys ever, and he's like 98 oh, and doesn't spanked. spend his money. Spanked and definitely wearing a diaper in that photo. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie needs a change. <laughs> and judging by the look on his face, it might be full. <laughs> he's, he loves it. Yeah. He's proud of this. <laughs> And my kid sat on my lap and watched like the first lap with me, which is always fun because if there's going to be any good crashing, lap. it's a good, good lap. lap. So it's a good lap. Good lap. I thought it was a wholesome moment, and you're turning it into something else. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's not sexual or um, anything. It's just that it's you feel no weird. Sounding. That I hate to, I threatening. No one was saying that. No, but to me, it's funny <laughs> because it's just. Sat on my lap and watched like what? the first lap. <laughs> oh, the way, how many Why? times I say lap? Which is always fun because if there's going to be any good crashing, lap. it's a good, good lap. lap. So, Six right. laps. Casey. Lap. I'm walking up to you. We have not talked yet. Okay, okay. got it. Mm -hmm. is, that a dirty, is that a dirty Shirley? <laughs> or? Whirling dervish. <laughs> sorry. Are you sorry? Are you trying to get to the bar? I'm trying to get to the bottom of your drink. What the fuck? Um, because you, my friend, are sort of a tall drink of water. Is it a dirty? Oh, that's Shirley? so nice. That's really nice of you. Or is it a whirling dervish? What? Is sorry, your you keep drink. Sort of talking. You're talking when I'm talking. I don't know what you're saying, but uh, I'm just waiting for some friends. I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> If your drink, that's is all I'm wondering. Are you okay? He's blackout drunk. <laughs> is, is it a is it a whirling dervish or is it a Shirley Turley? Uh, I don't know. Because we can spike that up real nice. I definitely don't want you to spike my drink. <laughs> no, not with alcohol, with the mood of our conversation. <laughs> okay, shoot your shot, young buck. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Makes you so unattractive to me. I don't live close. What say you and I take it all the way back to Marina Del Rey? I don't want to go to Marina Del Rey tonight. I have dance in the morning. We can meet in the middle at a hotel that I'll pay for. That is really, really too much. You're kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, this has been fun, but I'm just going to close out. I'm married, sweetheart. <laughs> no nice way. shot, though. Nice try. I didn't. <laughs> Scene.
That was <laughs> it was awesome, sad. Man. Bomb. It was beautiful. <laughs> you shot young <laughs> I just, I'm just imagining Amir in a <laughs> in a really bad outfit with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep imagining it. I'll fucking show up at Headgum East in the spider jacket and a goddamn Glock. <laughs> If you keep talking your shit, I I really might go postal. <laughs> Service. <laughs> what are like ugly shoes that you're wearing? Good like, question. New Reeboks. balances are too cool. Yeah, I was thinking. Reeboks I was thinking too. all birds. <laughs> <laughs> and my Anybody? gun is Nature Box. Everything I wear is podcast <laughs> sponsored. <laughs> Soylent tea. <laughs> Soylent tea Bird is people. Bird dog shorts. <laughs> you, it's like a and grenade a Soylent hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tossing soy milk over everyone. It's uh, the powder. Pick. What about just the Jeffries? That's ju- <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Can we? Strike, I'm gonna sh- strike five and a half. <laughs> He's opening a safe. Side. That was me. Well, I should have done it like this. That was me sh- turning off the shutoff <laughs> valve of Marika's bullshit. Shooting you. What? No! <laughs> I said shutting off the valve of you. <laughs> Maybe just as rude, if not ruder, by the way. Vimeo.com slash lonely and horny. Lonely and horny. Well, the poster says lonely. It and does. Horny. I see. Yes. Do you not know that? <laughs> there was There's a, a typo. typo on the poster in the kitchen. It should have read You don't know that it says lonely and horny? <laughs> my, pitch, my pitch was that it is. should say lonely and honly. <laughs> 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 Fimi- yeah, Fimio.com. Lonely. I've only been here two to four weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time I, to notice I, the typo. The typo is buried. It's it's really hard to find. So it's really well. It, well, then I guess my other pitch it. is that it should be easier to find because that's how that's what you need people to be going to. Yeah, it's like the one actionable thing yeah. in the poster. My mm-hmm. my pitch actually is that it should be lornly and horny. Lornly and horny, Colin. <laughs> I'm trying to get it wet this weekend. <laughs> I'm looking to bust. (laughs) I would stay. I also, well, I think that I could handle it, but not in the sense of being like a performer. I think it would be really boring if I Mm -hmm. was sitting in front of the camera for 24 hours, but I would do it because I also feel like growing up, I did dumb things like let's try to stay up for 24 hours and like, stay on Skype and watch stuff on TV and all that kind of stuff. So like yeah. feel I feel like I could handle it. I definitely yeah. like You feet. also said that you used to kind of hang around with like a ragtag group of rascals who would like bail <laughs> white collar criminals out of federal prison. <laughs> <laughs> Which like that's not the people that. who need to be bailed out. Yeah. No well we were hackers and we had a little <laughs> chat. Um <laughs> And that's kind of how we did most of our work. But yeah. Most of your work? <laughs> yeah. Our work. We called it work. You're not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Anya loved it. <laughs> Everyone, look, guys. Jeff's hey. back. <laughs> You're a dead oh, double man. A. MP. You're a dead double A in Aardvark. Acid, <laughs> your battery acid. Um, what else do I got here? <laughs> to talk it's about. a prop comic now. <laughs> hey. Another battery, which you've already done. It's not a no, that's Bert's bees. <laughs> The biggest oh, battery was a ever battery. <laughs> oh my god! Everything tubular is energy to you. That's the fucking problem. <laughs> That's the problem. I just I'm trying to make it so that what is the show? What is the show? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to make myself more presentable to y'all so that you guys feel more comfortable sharing. Pyle hasn't lowered his shoulders for a decade, and I feel like the last <laughs> the last two and a half years of that is me. Lowered my shoulders? What do you mean? Yeah, you're tense. So just know that me and a few of my friends were a little high. We're watching Fox News, mostly for the ads, because they're just incredible. If no one's ever seen the late night Fox News ads, 
Turns out there was this like show on, I want to say it was called Gutfeld. And we're like two minutes into watching it. And I'm like, this is essentially the HeadGum podcast. <laughs> no. This guy, he shows like a screen and he's like, uh, you know, 30, 30% <laughs> of adults report that they spend more time than they really need to in the bathroom just to avoid their family. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is the follow on jokes from the other people present are far more off color. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, they're like, ah, oh, you would too if you lived with my wife, blah, blah, whatever. Well, that's um, funny. Yeah. That's just comedy. It wasn't a work dinner per se, but it okay. was everyone that we worked with. Well, it was, a, I thought it was, it was a work dinner at per se. <laughs> okay. Nice. In, in, during which you asked everyone to say their favorite thing about themselves, both like personality trait and physically. <laughs> Oh, Which I thought was a weird <laughs> line of inquiry to your coworkers. Well, clearly you've committed it to memory and are holding it against me in some way. I didn't remember saying that. We were at Mazel, by the way. Tav, um, <laughs> I, I didn't, it, uh, yeah, nobody answered it. So I don't know why anyone's upset. I can say it. What's my favorite thing about They're myself? They're upset because they didn't answer. Because well, you said you your made ass a... and you pulled out a photo of your ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. That's physical, though. But that's though. no problem. I think I'd like to take you out for the aforementioned friends dinner where we go to l &E Oyster Bar. We both get Negronis. And maybe some of our other friends are there. Maybe you meet some new faces. I'm not sure. You seem like an extroverted guy. Maybe you meet some new friends, people you would vibe with. We're getting the fries. We're dipping them in mayo and then ketchup. We're getting the lobster rolls. You get the hot. I get the cold. We split them and we have half of each, right? And to wash it all down, not on the menu, but we ask them to blend ice cream into a milkshake. And we also bring our own malted milk powder. So oh, you're going to get fucking diarrhea. <laughs> you're eating hot lobster and a, a milkshake that you made them make with malt powder. <laughs> and cold lobster, apparently. Cold, uh, hot and cold and we split them? <laughs> You almost got a smile out of them, and then it quickly turned to disgust. I know. I was kind of like psyched at first, to be honest, and then I think that the well, I started panicking, got... but I got to dessert. <laughs> it was long before dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you record that? Uh, that was ultimately it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> squeal or no squeal? Come on. No we got squeal. a lot of these to get to. You know, they advertised it as the scariest movie of the year. I was not. I didn't. I've seen scarier movies. Yeah. But this it was, year. I am not going to say it. What was scarier? Uh, I thought Infinity Pool was scarier. Uh, I can't do body horror. Mm, I love it. But they also didn't, they didn't do jump scares. Father son. Which is nice. Have you ever gone out for a body horror movie? I'd love to see that. I think we're What's just about body out of time. horror? Like gore and like uh, well, but like gore, it's like the horror, horror of, the, of the body. The body is so the human body is so horrific that you can make several kinds of movies about bent spines, yeah, yanking like lungs, things out of the coming back out of, of you. It's disgusting. It's like oh, there's slime. Yeah. It's great. Sludge yeah. and fingernails slowly being peeled off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like Let that. Let me grab my own eye and rip buzz, it out buzz. of my bamboo skull. shoots going under your toenails. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like biting down on a. Fucking nail so hard it penetrates both. <laughs> <laughs> Marika, we're doing the Headgum podcast right now and things are not going well. Just wanted to know if you could save the episode. Like now? Yeah, yeah ASAP FaceTime? would be good. ASAP. What do you need me to do? This is good so far. People like seeing your smile. Whenever I see Brown Lee's smiling face, I have to smile myself. Because I love brown. We're floundering. <laughs> what? Marika's druthers. I don't know what else to do. I also don't know what else to do. What are you doing? Are you, what are you doing next week, Jeff? Are you in the office at all? I'm around. All right. 
I'll be there on Wednesday and Thursday. It's too much to commit to. Um, you sent me a note to get up. you today. You Shit. hung up no. on her. I'll call her back. You're right. That was rude. Unbelievable. Let me just see if she responds. If she answers. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think I was under a bridge or something. Yeah. Under a bridge. Can I see outside your window? <laughs> Did you see that billboard? She's just laughing. <laughs> laughing at the view. I live under a fucking overpass. What do you want me to say? <laughs> um, no, there's a very funny billboard outside my, right outside my window. <laughs> I feel guilty all the time. And I think I'm bad at everything no, all the no. time. But I'm working on it. In my head right now, I'm going, I hope the Druthers is going okay. What if, it's not? what if everybody thinks my Druthers is the worst Druthers of the old Druthers? And it was a big regret. It won't be. <laughs> and, uh, maybe, maybe this Druthers should have just stopped while we were ahead. But now we're too far in and we just got to see it through. And everyone's just got to ride the ride with me. Oh, no. And I hope, I bet my hair still looks bad. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> looks good. Keep going. Uh, looks good. Now keep going. Okay. Um, I hope that everything goes okay today and it's an okay Monday. <laughs> Something hot uh, take. Uh, hot take. Uh, some what? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> oh my God. If I was in charge of a battleship, we would sink. Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Ali Dashcon. What are we thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's K A H. Let's see if we can get Ali two hundred and fifty dollars this week. How's that for a sandwich? <laughs> if every listener of the show Venmoed you a dollar, actually, you would be you'd be able you'd to buy be a the house. richest person yeah, in like... this fucking Zoom by a lot. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> no. You should be the richest one. <laughs> exactly. Right. Compounding interests. You're of course. forty. Yeah, I've had the most time to amass wealth, and it's amassed to nothing. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it's a mouse to nothing. Yeah, as in I started with a mountain and made it a molehill. Um, activity, action, and chaos. Um, three demons you must slay in order to become a better person. <laughs> not, not poetry. Um, <laughs> But good uh, advice. Yeah. <laughs> Not poetry though. Yeah. Uh, aphorism kind of. Uh I we met in Hatfield County and by the time we were married, we had already moved four times in my heart and twice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> poetry. <laughs> yeah. Um, poetry. Yeah. Daddy used to tell me the straighter no. the teeth, the less stories <laughs> somebody had to say. No. <laughs> no. Um, no, that is poetry. Okay. No, I think Any, that's prose. Yeah. Anybody can tighten their uh, belt, but it takes a real person <laughs> to fill out their pants. No, not poetry. That's a saying. That's an yeah. ism. <laughs> so how, maybe it's hard to write more than two poems per minute. Yeah, maybe you suck and you don't know <laughs> poetry if it hit you in the fucking head. Sorry, that was my fifth one. Did I run Can out of time? Recite? I brandish a gun like Jaw. <laughs> <laughs> the lemon had like a sugar coating on top. It was it's really gritty. Well, <laughs> <laughs> in addition, <laughs> you were trash. <laughs> you were snorting it like Adderall. Down the of what are you it's guys doing back there? Right? A yeah. fucking yeah. separate yeah. podcast. What are you guys saying? <laughs> Just forget it. I just was talking to Casey. I was like, it's hard to get a word in from over here. Yeah. So we have to, to talk about. At all. Get a word in. <laughs> Jeff has asked, Jen, Jeff has started two different polls. First, he started, how is everyone feeling after the wedding? We'll start with Casey. And then only, only Casey got yeah, to answer. And then he goes, what's everyone's favorite cake? Cake. Casey? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Casey's, like, Casey's, Casey's favorite cake went into Casey. Casey's woes. And went into <laughs> Casey, what was your experience? And Which you already asked him. And we already heard. It's all about Casey. Casey this. Casey, Casey that. Casey. It's all about Casey. God damn. It's not about Jakesy. <laughs> what was Jakesy's favorite Casey then? Yeah. I already said it was the fucking blue one. Jakesy's. <laughs> one should be. Joy. Joy. One should 
stay wise if you already have gotten there, and then mm-hmm. if not, you should get wise. Right. And uh, I think that you, I think for a live show you should get because I'm on the verge of like a not either it's either going to be a breakdown or it's going to be a breakthrough. It's either going to be epiphany <laughs> or an a pal- or a palpitation. Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk about the plan song? I want to yeah. talk about the song, but I do want to say that. When you brought that cup, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> water, wet flan water all over the keyboard. <laughs> oh That's my god! That's a syrup god. for sure. That was so that thick. Wet caramelized sugar. <laughs> that M one M two chip hates you. <laughs> oh, he's pressing the soundboard as he cleans the keyboard. On the new computer. That's the new computer? Oh, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I was just trying to show you how um, viscous it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, technically three, I was homeschooled for ninth grade. By who? And you were but homesick for your in... junior year. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that so dirtied crass. this whole episode up. I feel like he's the one who kind of made it all naughty versus no nice. No way I because, didn't. Well, you started the episode. You had the perfect person merch, greed, one of the seven, seven deadly sins. That was the first dirty. After that, first it started. First dirty? Of many, yes. And then the About last one. professional was, yo-yoing <laughs> called uh, The Game Has Changed. And, uh, uh, called The Game Has Changed. Uh, called The Game uh, Has uh, Changed. I'm moving these just in case he does the mean thing. To, uh, I'm actually, in 2011, uh, um, actually, I married a yo-yo legally. Because Josh really good at yo-yo, but he doesn't bring it up that much. Why won't you die? I got my nails done for it. What is Her this show? Great. Thank you. Do you get it? Different than we've ever done it before. Do my nail kind of, they could be Barbie. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hold up, girls. I, my minor nails are sh- bad. Minor shit, but I'll show you. I'm a biter. <laughs> I'm a biter, ladies. <laughs> Nervous as hell with anxiety issues to match. Uh, let's talk about Rejoy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, okay. So that means giving me this look that's like. Mm-mm. No, it's good. I'm with you. So it means- what do you do from 115 to 315? What's that last two hours of the day? night like for you i don't want to be crass or blue yeah but it's a lot of (laughs) self-completion automotive automotive fellatio which is when you go down on a mazda (laughs) and meditation (laughs) (laughs) then it's supposed to cut out right there (laughs) get me the fuck out of here Thanks for watching, everybody. So thank you guys so much. We will see you next week, or we won't. It'll be interesting. Like America, this is a great experiment. Sex!